With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The centroid of a triangle formed by the pair of straight lines 12x square minus 20xy plus 7y square is equal to 0 and the line 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. So we have to find out the centroid of a triangle whose equations are given as follows. So for three sides we should have three equations of line but here we have only two equations so where this is the pair of straight lines. So first of all you will find out the pair of straight line using this equation that is 12x square minus 20xy plus 7y square is equal to 0 using middle term splitting formula we will get 12 into 7 is 84 right factorizing it will give us taking 2 okay 2 then 4 2 2 21 3 7 and 7 right so we can see that 12 into 7 is 84 Right, and in the middle term we have minus 20. So if we make pair of 2 and 7 and 3 and 2, 7 2s are 14, 3 and 2 is 6. So 14 plus 6 will give you 20 and we want minus 20. So we will make a pair of minus 14 and minus 6. So this will give us 12x square minus 14xy minus 6xy plus 7y square is equals to 0. Right, now taking common from here we will get Let's shuffle their positions. Minus 6xy minus 14xy. Right. Now taking common 6x from here will give us 2x minus y. Then taking 7 common here. It will give us 2x. 7 to the 14xy minus y. Right. 7y square. So we can see this is equal to 0. So from here we will get 6x minus 7y is equal to 0. The first uh, pair of line. And the second equation of line will be 6x. Uh, second will be 2x minus y is equal to 0. So these are our two equations of line. And the third one is given to be 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now by the equation we can see here that these two lines will be passed through the uh, origin right so if this is our coordinate axis these two lines are passing through origin we can see putting 0 0 here will give us uh, 0 is equal to 0 so we can say that if two lines are passing like this right then the third line which is not passing through the origin will be somewhat like this to make a triangle we can see that this will be a triangle with these three vertices now to find out the centroid we should have uh, all the three vertices of the triangle and from the graph we can see that one point is 0 0 so we already have one point we are left with find out with finding out two other points also so the two other points will be the intersection of the two lines intersection point of these two lines and intersection point of these two lines so let us assume that 6x is equal to 7 by from here let x is equal to 7 upon 6y now put x is equal to 7 upon 6y into this equation because these two are because intersection point of these two lines are 0 0 so we will find it as intersection point with these two lines and then these two lines so we will have putting x is equal to 7 upon 6y into this equation will give us minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 this will give us 7 upon 3y minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 now taking LCM will give us 7y minus uh, multiplying 3 will give us 3 in the denominator. So we will multiply 3 in the numerator. 3y 3 into 3y plus multiplying 3 in the denominator will make it 3. So we multiply 3 in the numerator. That is how we solve our LCM part. So 7y minus 9y plus 12 is equal to 3 into 0 is 0. So 7 minus 9y will be minus 2y plus 12 is equal to 0. From here 2y will be equal to minus 2y will be equal to minus 12 and so y will become 6 so value of y is 6 if value of y is 6 if y is 6 then x will become 7 upon 6 into 6 that means x will become 7 so the intersection point of these two lines is 7 and 6 so let's say this is what your 7 and 6 point now we will find the intersection point of these two lines so let's say this line is 2x minus y is equal to 0 and the other line is 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. 
so from here we will see that let y is equals to x from this line now we will use substitution method again so we will put y is equals to 2x into this equation and that will give us we have 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0 and y is equals to 2x now so 2x minus 3 into 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 this will give us 2x minus 6x plus 4 is equal to 0 and uh, that will give us minus 4x is equal to minus 4 that means x is equal to 1 now if x is equal to 1 then using this equation we can say that y will be 2 right so the another points are 1 and 2 now we have got our all the three vertices of the triangle the first one is 0 0 7 6 and 1 2 0 0 7 6 and 1 2 3 vertices of the triangle right now the centroid is centroid has the coordinates as alpha plus beta alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 upon 3 that means 0 plus 7 plus 1 upon 3 comma beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 addition of these three terms so 0 plus 6 plus 2 upon 3 from here we will get 7 plus 1 up is 8 upon 3 8 upon 3 so the coordinates of the centroid formed by these three lines will be 8 upon 3 and 8 upon 3 so option 1 is the correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today